This video will cover the topic, solving an exponential equation by finding common bases, linear exponents. Before we begin to solve problems of this type, let's review an important exponent rule that we will be using. The exponent power rule says that when you raise a power to a power, you can multiply the exponents together. An example of this would be x squared to the fourth power. If we were to express x squared to the fourth power as a product of the variable x, it would look like this. As you can see, x squared to the fourth power is the same as x to the eighth power. We could have found that x squared to the fourth power is x to the eighth power also by multiplying the exponents two and four together to get eight. Okay, this all seems to make sense to me. But how do we solve for variables in the exponents of an exponential equation? Good question. One way to solve for a variable in the exponent is to make sure that the base of the exponential terms are equal. If the bases are equal, then we can solve for the variable in the exponent by creating an equation only using the exponent values. Can we try out an example problem? Sure. Here, we have a problem asking us to solve for x in the exponential equation 27 to the x plus 3 power equal to 81. How do we begin to solve this problem? Our first step is to find a common base between 27 and 81. Okay, so I know that 3 raised to the third power is 27, and 3 raised to the fourth power is 81. Exactly, and these two exponents share a common base, which is exactly what we need. Knowing this, we can rewrite 27 and 81 in their respective exponential forms. Now that our exponential equation is in this form, we can use the exponent power rule to multiply together the exponents of 3 and x plus 3. Now that our exponential equation shares the same base, we can set the two exponents equal to each other and solve for x. Doing this, we will have 3x plus 9 equal to 4. Solving for x, we will find that x equals negative 5 over 3. Okay, I think this all makes sense to me. But just to be sure, let me go over what I have learned. To solve an exponential equation, it's important to remember the exponent power rule. When trying to solve for an unknown variable in the exponent of an exponential equation, it is important to find a common base between the terms of the equation. Once a common base is found, we can solve for the unknown variable by setting the exponents equal to each other. That all sounded right. You understand this topic so well, you should be the teacher.